All right, I've been wanting to do a video on the Air Buddy for a little while now, and I'm finally getting around to it. Um, I'll take you from the unboxing when I first received it, and then all the way through uh, using it at Morrison Springs here in Florida, and then also down in Pensacola, Florida. So you'll get to see uh, some of the components, and I'll give you a, a brief review of, of uh, how it works and so on, and then um, you'll be able to see me using it. So, enjoy. It's all right. It's okay. Chris is traveling today. Oh, yeah, baby. It's all right. It's okay. Cross the country. See, it got all kinds of labels and all kinds of stuff. It came from Sydney, Australia. It went from Sydney to uh, Singapore, Malaysia. From there to Hong Kong, and then from Hong Kong to Cincinnati, Ohio, and then from Cincinnati to Louisiana, and then it got delivered today. I mean, it took, I mean, they did it fast. Here's okay. how it looks. Oh, piece of cardboard. That's good. It's actually pretty heavy duty, thick. All right. Looks like I uh, got the uh, U.S. standard. North American standard flag. This looks completely accurate. That's really heavy duty. Very well, very cool. And there it is, the Air Buddy. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just lift it out of here. And it is pretty heavy. Obviously, it's uh, got the battery in it. We've got the single 40 foot hose. That looks correct. English version of the user manual. That's cool. Let's put that on the table. I'll tell you this the shipping box, really heavy duty. So, traveling, you know, through multiple countries to get here. It's uh, it ended up getting here in very good shape. There's another box that's in there. Okay, so we got that pretty much empty, and you can see this pretty good packaging. Okay, cool. In this box, let's see what's in here. bag. I think this is something that they've been giving people. Um, we have the, I believe this is probably the charger, yeah. Charger. And they sent the uh, the right connection. You have to select that when you order. What kind of plug. Make sure you get the right one. Got this plastic tube. I'm not sure what that's for. A uh, Allen key. The Air Buddy regulator. Cool. It is hooked up to the um, little vest that comes with. Set that right there. And a couple of hooks there. That's it. That's what came inside, and uh, now I'm going to take that stuff out of the bags and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's look a little closer at the Air Buddy. What you've got here is a hard, hard plastic tank that floats on the water and keeps the pump and battery out of the water. And what we have here is the air intake. And what happens is this dive flag, which is also a tube with an air intake, plugs into this, becomes your dive flag and your in air intake tube. Okay, and it stays sealed. We got a little rubber stopper there to, to keep it from getting uh, water inside the pump. Now this pump and battery have straps holding the tank. And on the tank, the air pump, which is below the battery, which is right in there and here, pumps air into the tank and compresses it. Um, down here on the bottom, there's a um, gauge showing you the pressure that's in the tank. When you're underwater, you can look at this and make sure you're in the green zone and you've got enough pressure, enough air in the tank to run. 
And then what happens is this blue air hose is connected to the tank, out the hose, and to the regulator. That's kind of how it looks. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but uh, you get the general idea. Now there is another hookup down here for a second hose. Two people could use it, however, I don't suggest that. I think one person on one of these is all you really want to get. But it is designed to handle two. Okay, so now the air hose that comes off, this is a, I believe a 40 foot hose. You can get shorter ones. I think 40 is as long as they get. <coughs> Looks like so. It's all coiled, which is actually is a pretty nice hose. And that, end of that hose, keep this, this cover on, keep, uh, keep debris or any garbage from getting inside there. That, up to <laughs> that hose hooks up to this vest that you wear pink and the air hose is out the bottom this comes around and is your regulator now I replaced the mouthpiece because I just I wanted something different but uh, what that does is gives you another mouthpiece if someone wants to use it they can put their own mouthpiece on um, it's got a little strap goes over your head just to keep this in place if you're if you get it pulled out of your mouth but it's a uh, it's a pretty decent little regulator and the vest works good too now what happens is when you got the line coming in you go through this ring to this and it keeps it from pulling directly onto the uh, the connection there for the air hose so that comes with when you pop this off pop this off the pump will start. You put this on your wrist. I'll show you what it looks like here. Put this thing on your wrist when you're diving and then when you come up you can pop it back on and don't waste the battery. You can, it'll stop the pump. Okay next I'm going to uh, pull these straps off and do this one do this one-handed. So I want to show you how this uh, works. Now down down here where it uh, hooks up, let me show you over here, where it hooks up to the tank, right there, I'm going to disconnect that, that. Well. and then we can gain access, and I don't have to take this all the way off, just so you can get to, the, to these straps, let me loosen this guy up a little more, now these are held on, these are held on by these uh, rubber O-rings type deals like that. Pop this one off. So that acts as a handle and also holds the case together. All right, there's a little better, better angle. So what I've done is I've released these Velcro straps to release the tank, disconnected the airline to the tank, and now we've got these two little red tabs. We're gonna pop those after removing the handle, which you saw. And then inside here, you've got the battery. First of all, you've got access to plug it in to recharge. And then also, that's by the way, what this bag was for, is to hold the battery. If you want to put it in the case and don't want to keep it in, in the uh, pump system. And what I did was, I bought a second one, a secondary battery, and it gives you about a half hour of air time. So it's nice to have a second one. And... Uh, it's got, it came with the charger that takes you know, 110 volts, but I can actually use the Blue Eddy to recharge these batteries right on the boat. So that's, uh, that's going to be, that's going to be nice to be able to use that that way. Okay, so what, that's about all you see in here. The battery comes out, you really can't see the pump. It's up underneath. And uh, this is the air intake right over here. Pop this back on like so. And then we've got the handle, o-ring, tabs, or whatever the, uh, pop those on. Right, and then we'll go ahead and strap yeah, this now also on. came with this weird little plastic hose that I was, I've been trying, I tried to figure out what the heck would that be for. Well, what happens is in this tank, um, you do get some condensation that may build up. And you can push this in through one of the uh, one of the ports, and then uh, be able to drain out 
any condensation that may have gathered inside the tank. But it's a plastic tank, so it's not going to um, it's not going to rust or anything like that. It's really heavy duty. We'll go ahead and uh, look at a couple dive scenes. You can see how it works. At, uh, Morrison Springs here in Florida, outside of Ponce de Leon. Um, it's beautiful. The water is. The uh, snorkeling reef in um, Pensacola at the uh, West Park. I think it's called West Park. See, the beach is right there. I've got the little metal detector. Everybody is working great. Um, I'll do a little bit of video down below, show you how things look. 